Chris, we talk about our sport a lot of time, of being a dual-sided sport, and one of the things we want to do with our non-bowling arm is the, our balance arm. There's a few tricks that you do quite well that we want other bowlers to incorporate in their game. It's what we can do with our thumb and our palm when we turn it down. Well, it's a really important part, and you don't talk about the left arm very much, but one of the things that naturally happens, when your right arm comes forward, your left arm has to come back. And that's okay, you need that to happen, but the difference is what happens with your shoulder with the thumb up versus the thumb down. Yeah, if your thumb up, the shoulder, will, if your thumb up, it takes the shoulder back with it. And if we can get you to take your thumb down and roll it, the shoulder stays forward. And what is the key of keeping the shoulder forward? Why would we want to keep our shoulder forward? Well, you have to have count motion and counter motion, but this is your aiming bar. And you want this to be as stable as possible so that you can be more, more consistent. If this is moving around, it gets really tough to close it down at the perfect angle every single shot. So if you release it a little early or going out to the right to release it a little late, it's going to the left, we end up spraying the ball because that arm or their shoulders are rotating back and forth. Absolutely. Great field players have days where they play really well and they have days where it goes everywhere. And this is what we're trying to avoid. By getting that thumb down and taking that shoulder, taking it back this way, you let that shoulder minimize the rotation and let you be more consistent day to day.